For more than 70 years, the diary of Renia Spiegel lay untouched in a New York bank vault. To her family, who fled the Nazis, her story of growing up as a Jewish schoolgirl under constant fear in occupied Poland was just too painful for them to bear reading. But now her sister has decided it must be published, and in both historical record and literary merit, it's being likened to that of the diary of Anne Frank. With chilling echoes of that other tragic diarist, Renya Spiegel's writings capture one of mankind's darkest hours. The Jewish teenager lived and ultimately died in Poland at a time when those who shared her religion were rounded up by the Nazis and sent to the concentration camps. A young girl's eyewitness account of the Holocaust recorded in her diaries. Wherever I look, there is bloodshed, such terrible pogroms, there is killing, murdering, God Almighty, for the umpteenth time, I humble myself in front of you. Help us, save us. Renya's diaries start in 1939 when she was 15 and end in 1942 when she was shot dead by German soldiers who found her hiding in an attic. Her diaries and 60 poems are now being published, but for 70 years her family who survived the Holocaust couldn't bring themselves to open them. The diary my mom couldn't read. She was too upset about my sister's passing away. So all these years it stayed unread? Unread. I couldn't read it either. This is one of the last entries, shortly before Renya was discovered. Remember this day, remember it well. You will tell generations to come. Since 8 o'clock today we have been shut away in the ghetto. I live here now. The world is separated from me and I'm separated from the world. The writer's niece says the world can learn from these long-hidden words. Scholars have said that it's not only a primary historical source of the Holocaust, but a true and outstanding work of literature. The sister who survived remembers a sibling who in the darkest of days cared for her and continued to dream of a literary career. She was very good to me. She was six years older than I. I had no mother. She was hoping to become a writer, become a, a, you know, poetess. Renia Spiegel has achieved her dream with her book, 77 Years After Her Death. Paul Davis, News at 10.